Anita Abernathy's homegoing marks the end of an era of pioneer civil rights movement female leaders and luminaries. Coretta Scott King, Rosa Parks, and Juanita Abernathy were fierce foot soldiers for human rights. Many people don't realize that Dr. King and Mrs. King would never try to go to flight without the co pilots of Ralph and Juanita Abernathy. Any good pilot knows that you can't fly through turbulence and fly through storms and fly through all kinds of things if you don't have a good co-pilot to go with you. It is no accident that in 1955, on Juanita Abernathy's birthday, Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat. Now other people had given up their seats. Jackie Robinson gave up his seat in the 40s. The difference would put Rosa Parks standing up in the history was there was these four people in Montgomery that turned that moment into a movement. If it had not been for Martin and Coretta and Ralph and Waleed, it would have been just another incident of somebody didn't give up their seat. But they made it a movement where people walked every day for over a year, saying I'd rather walk with dignity than ride with shame. A few people know that and that this house was, house was bombed first. You cannot imagine how it is to live in a house with your children and don't know every sound could be another bomb going on. But she did that for us. She took all of that for us. And it's that reason that we celebrate her because every black in high positions, every black that's bowing and taking honors, they're doing that at the sacrifice of what we have. Reverend Sharpton told of 1,400 in attendance that we are celebrating the life of a woman who helped change the world. So we're going home, Martina. You fought a good fight. You brought us from the back of the bus to the front of the White House. SCLC President Dr. Charles Steele Jr. says former SCLC First Lady Juanita Abernathy was one of a kind. Uh, people all over the world know her. Her daughter lives in Germany. I go to Berlin all the time and they always uh, reference and ask me about Mrs. Abernathy as well as her family. But she has made an impact and an imprint throughout the citizenry of being a citizen of the planet. She is one that we can emulate in the story of Mrs. Juanita Abernathy coming from Uniontown, Alabama, will forever be told within not only the black community, but throughout the world. Al Strapton just said she went from the back of the bus to the, door, the front door of the White House. She really had that much of an impact? She really changed things? Absolutely. absolutely. Well, don't forget, first of all, their homes was bombed in 1955. Uh, they didn't give up. They made it the family. She couldn't do it without Ralph, and Ralph couldn't do it without her. And as I have mentioned, uh, the co-pilot was Martin and, and Coretta, you know. And I can relate to what I'm doing now with SCLC. I couldn't do it without my wife, and I couldn't do it without close associates and folks who support us. It's a tough job, but guess what? It has to be a calling. It has to be an anointing, and you got to love the calling and the anointing. And she had that calling. She had the calling, and she wasn't afraid. Uh, none of us who consider ourselves committed and will give up our uh, supreme sacrifice, that's your life. You have to have that calling because not only would you not know it if you don't have it, others would know it too, and you wouldn't last long. There are Atlanta streets named Martin Luther King Jr. Drive, Ralph David Abernathy Boulevard, and John Lewis Freedom Parkway. 
but there are no streets, says former Atlanta Mayor Bill Campbell, named after Coretta Scott King or Juanita Abernathy. He says that's got to change. Our Lord. 